using a timer to train. Now, it's a good way to get into a habit, okay? You can get a timer like this, like this Seiko timer that I get, it's just $20 Australian, something like that. Let's just say, I'm just gonna train for three minutes, okay? Just to get yourself into a habit. Set it there, three. There we go, okay? Now I'll start it as soon as I get my training set up, which won't take long. So, I'm on my phone, I'm on Amazing Slowdown now. Uh, I go here. I made playlists already for what songs I want to do. So I'll show you. Remind me. I want to work a bit on the really hard run that's in this song. Oh, turn that off. So here's the run. Let's say I want to work on that. Now, when you work on stuff, you don't have to work at it all at once. You break it into tiny bits and pieces, okay? So you don't have to keep keep working on stuff for ages. So let's start the time. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to do three minutes of work on this. Three minutes of work. Okay, here we go. Start. Here we go. It's rolling, okay? I'm going to let it go. Let's see how much I can do in three minutes. See if I can make progress. All right, so I'll work on that beginning. Learned that much, okay? Got 10 seconds left on, left on the clock. You remind, you remind. Three minutes. That's how much I got done. Three minutes. Pretty damn good. Now, everyone is at a different level on how much they can learn in a certain amount of time. So, you might not learn. You I learned 21 notes, but for someone, because I'm advanced, but someone who's at a different level, you might learn five notes in that three minutes. You get what I mean? So you work at the level that you're at. So in that three minutes, you could really make a lot of progress on that five note run that you had no clue about before. So get a timer, set yourself up. You can work on a timer, something like that. That's how I schedule my practice in my head. I'm like, I'm going to do at least five minutes. I try to kind of go like that. And I pick one thing. I don't bounce around. So see, I just picked one run there. And I did, 
And I didn't say, oh, I have to do it like that whole thing and I have to get it. I said to myself in my head, I didn't say it out loud to you, obviously. Whatever I get, I'm happy with. The point is, I want to get something. I want to be able to figure something out. So sometimes you need to make it even smaller and change your expectation to go with how you're going when you're in the lesson. You know what I mean? Maybe your expectation was too high. You had to make it easier. That's okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. All right, guys. I hope this helps you see how you can practice in a quick, short time. Get a lot done. Imagine you do that three minutes every day. It's only three minutes. You make progress. It's better than doing nothing, right? <laughs> Get into it. I'm Rashid Hayek. I'm Bye.